Okay, here we go. Um, in this case, uh, I've been just practicing making circles, squares. Um, try making some other shapes. I'm going to delete these. Another important key on the keyboard that I'm going to use a lot is the uh, Control A, or a Mac, of course, is Command A. Hitting Control A selects all, selects everything that's in there, everything that you have on your inside of Illustrator. And then again, I'm going to hit Delete key or Backspace key, and it all goes away. So Control A selects all. Um, in this case, why don't you practice some other objects besides just doing circle, square, triangle. Uh, there's lines, arcs, spirals, things like that. Uh, there's also uh, ellipses, round rectangle tool, polygon tool. If I click in polygon, you'll see there's a polygon. There's a polygon. If you double click with these tools, let's say I have the polygon tool selected right now, and I click twice with the left mouse on the screen, double click kind of quickly. It's like a quick click, click, click. Um, I know it's, it's, you're just going to have to get used to clicking with a mouse a certain way. And when you're using a drawing application like Illustrator and stuff, just the way you click the mouse, either fast or slow or click and drag and things like that, you're just going to have to get used to it. There, there's no way I can explain it through a video or in a book. You can't just read, oh, how to do it. This is a fast click. You're going to click twice fast with the left mouse. Oh, once, actually, not twice. Hey, that was once. Let me try again. Oh, look at that. You don't have to click twice. Just click once with the left mouse, don't drag, don't move the mouse, just click once and it comes up with uh, uh, the dimensions, basically it's telling you what side of uh, a polygon you want and how big do you want it. Now most likely it's taking the last size I've made, do you notice this one right here, it's probably going to make one about the same size as that one. But I really don't want to make a polygon, I want to make a rect or no, a triangle, right? A triangle is how many sides is a triangle? Uh, you guessed it, three. So you see where it says sides? I'm going to go down. One, two, three. So if I say three-sided polygon, I'm just going to hit OK. Don't worry about the radius. You can make it any size you want inside of Illustrator. You hit OK. Boom. Notice it makes a nice, perfect triangle. OK, again, go back to the black arrow when you're done. Always go back to the black selection tool when you're done. Uh, again, I can make it bigger or smaller bigger, smaller. If you want to keep in proportion and, and when you're growing things, hold the shift key down. Keeps it in proportion. Okay. Now, uh, in this case, I'm going to duplicate. If you remember from the last video how to duplicate something, it was holding the alt key down or the option key on Mac. If I hold that down using the black arrow tool, if I click and hold it, you'll notice, see when I'm holding the, the alt key down, you'll see the, the, the mouse actually changes to two arrows. You see that? So if I click and drag, it will actually duplicate. Okay, another easy, quick, and cheap way, if, if that's a word, cheap way, to, to make a, a flipped triangle, you can actually flip it around by putting your cursor in the middle here. See how I'm putting my cursor in the middle here? And I'm going to click and drag down like that. And you'll notice I made a totally opposite one. Wow. Again, click on the middle one, go up. Click on the middle one. I'm holding the left mouse down, drag down. So by doing that, then I can put them together. Kind of looks like a diamond, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a diamond. Maybe not a perfect diamond, but it is a diamond. Diamond. Um, Again, you can select both objects, move them around, and later on we'll learn how to combine these together into a new shape. I don't want to do that right now. That's kind of, it's a little advanced. So in this case, uh, maybe try making some, some lines. Of course, when I make a line, it's going to make the line that the stroke and the color that we have here. You notice when you're making a line, there's no fill. Hey, tic-tac-toe, maybe. So making some lines. Oh, try an arc, maybe. Arc, you click and drag with the arc. That's how you make the arc. Click and drag. You can make an arc. What else can I make? A uh, spiral. Uh, what else? Oh, don't try to brush yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's not try that. Nah, no, none of those yet. Uh, what was the last one? Oh, star tool. Kind of just like the, 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 the polygon. You can do that. Or you can click once and tell it how many sides you want. Um, and then the flare tool is nothing. Yeah. For right now so practice making simple shapes uh, let's uh, click on a color change the color a little bit then how you can do things like that 
If you want to delete everything, we hit Control A, delete, and it all goes away. So those are simple things that you can do to get started inside of Illustrator. Uh, next, we're going to make the flower. Oof, how do I make the flower? Well, the flower is um, is something that, and uh, let me pause this video, and we'll make a new one so that you can see how to make a flower.